So then, uh, just what's your what's your thoughts after after that performance? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, feel massively let down off a lot of single players in there. Um, I cannot remember really one of them that played anywhere near what they're capable of. And I looked after them during the week by not playing them in the Morpeth game, expecting a big game today, and I've just said them there feel massively let down by the players. We need something to change and it needs to happen quickly. We've had the chat me and Daz and Hooksy and they talk to the players. I just said at the end of the day, even them come back, it's, it's our responsibility when we cross the white line. Nothing's changed with how we play from the start of the season and now. Nothing whatsoever. The biggest worry for me is the lack of effort and desire to stop the opposition playing. And I think today we've never done that, especially in the second half. First off, I thought it was quite even, even game, and the penalty probably killed it. I'm not sure if it was a penalty or not. But then um, the second half, I thought we were on top, and then we give the second goal away by a free kick, which really was a damn. It wasn't a foul, and even the kid admitted it wasn't a foul. But we never defended the free kick, which is basics, and it just highlights what we do need. And it's it's disappointing because we, we started so well. And the lads have said they, this is their words, is it probably feels a little complacent a little bit because they're only looking at teams like Salford, Harrogate, Brackley as teams that are tougher teams than them, which <laughs> it baffles me because we've just been promoted. Every team in this league is above us. We've got to make sure that's the mentality that we're going to and at this moment in time that they're probably not, which is very worrying for me. In the second half, we we were really disappointed with how how the team sort of folded at the moment. Yep. Down. That's that's the thing for us. Obviously, uh, you've got to change things and have a go when you, you concede the second goal. So I've changed it and, and gone more open as a really wide four four two, and it leaves you exposed a little bit. But that's when you expect your players to dig in, and I've said to them, and they they got out fought. You've got to battle the day and that, that shouldn't be accepted at any level. You've got to win the battle first and then play football. But I think I said a couple of weeks ago that we just think we can play with football, which will get us through. Wait for something to happen from one of the strikers, one of the wide players. and You can't do that. You've got to make sure you're doing a job and a half and helping each other out. And I think in the last few games, we're not. Um. What can the fans do to, to, to help the team get through this one? Because obviously the women went home disappointed. We, we need the fans massively. The lads need the fans. They, they were, you've known the players for a long time. You've seen them they're in a different stage now from what they were. They've never been on a little run like this before. So it's, it's new to them. It's new to me. So it's managing that. And that's the toughest thing is we've got to learn from it. And me as a manager, as a coaching team and the players, it's all new and the fans have got to remember that we've been quite, I think last two years this group of players have come on leaps and bounds.